Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And today, okay, I have a haul and it's long overdue and honestly, I don't know where to start. So I've been picking up products here or there. I haven't done a haul in a while and I have quite a few products and I've used some of them in get ready with me videos but I like to use my haul videos to share swatches so you guys can see them see if there's something that you're interested in if you want to live vicariously through me whatever it is I want to show you like up close shots and swatches and give you an idea of what I think about the product if I've already used it so let's go ahead and just jump right into it and I'm gonna start out with the newer products first and then work my way backwards because like I have like you know like I have baskets everywhere and I just need to get the haul done so I can pack them away and then start reviewing some of these products because some of them do need a review all right let's put the bag over there and like I said, start from the top. So the last thing I picked up is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is brand new. This is the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Iron Face Micro Powder. This recently released and I was excited about it because I love the airbrush powder, right? It's one of my favorite pressed powders. So I was like, oh my God, this sounds perfect. So this is meant for under your eyes and also for your face. It has a brighten and blur and lift in effect. It targets dark circles and shadows. Okay, now, so, hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't read too much about this powder. I just picked it up just based on my experience with airbrush powder, which is not necessarily a wise thing. But anyway, there are a couple of shades of this and I picked up the shade Tan Deep because obviously, the shade is like a banana powder yellow has a slight hint of like a peachy tone to it it's a pressed powder and the pen is magnetized it's in this white compact really really pretty compact um but i i used it today i used it for this look and i just don't know that it's doing much of anything like i don't get it <laughs> i'm here like i don't get it I don't hmm yeah I don't I don't think it's special you know and it's a Charlotte Tilbury powder so obviously it's a Charlotte Tilbury price like it's brightening of course it's finely milled so it's not gonna give you coverage it's just gonna give like a light finishing effect there's a difference between like finishing powders and setting powders this is gonna be more of a finishing powder and I mean it you know it does something but did it do that much I wouldn't say that it's not special like I'm not feeling like it's a special powder but it's okay you know if you were on the market for this and you were just on the fence you can skip it you can really skip it but if you're like me and you just want to try everything maybe but honestly I could have just skipped this Keeping along the lines of pressed powder, I also picked up the Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder. Now, I love Westman Atelier. It's a luxury brand, very pricey, right? But, but they came out with this new pressed powder and it's translucent. It comes in this beautiful compact. It's really heavy. It's a gold compact for, you know, Westman Atelier. It's what they do. And it's just a white powder. This one, again nothing much to it it has skincare infused in it it definitely shows up brighter on my complexion because it's like a white and it blurs but i don't i don't get it like <laughs> i don't know why i picked this up honestly it's not even that great a powder for the price that it is because it's really expensive but i had sephora rewards so that's what i spent on it but Honestly and truly, you can skip this too. So already we have a couple of duds in the lineup, so maybe I should grab something that's actually a good buy, like something that I've been really loving. Let's let's redeem Charlotte Tilbury for a little bit. So 
I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. These are cream bronzers. These launched like a, a couple of months back for the summer. And they're cream bronzers. I picked up two shades. I picked up tan and deep. And let me tell you right now, I love this bronzer so much. Do I sound hoarse to you guys? I think my voice is a little bit deeper because I've been screaming all weekend. But anyway, I picked up tan and deep. This is the darkest shade. And it's, it's a rich enough shade. I think some deeper skin tones can enjoy this. But if you're really rich and dark, yeah, this is not going to work. But the shade I've been using is tan, and this works so well on my complexion. It's what I'm wearing now. It gives a subtle flush of color to my skin. That's what I want from bronzing. It is pigmented though, right? Like it's richly pigmented, but I use a very light hand, and I blend and buff it out. So I really have been enjoying this. It dries down to like a powdery finish. It's really nice. I love the compact. You get a decent amount of product too. It's 0.74 ounces, and it's made in Italy. I mean, she's cute. I really like this. So, yes, I do really like these bronzers. If you want, in my opinion, absolutely love them. Another bronzer. Let me talk about another bronzer that I picked up. This is from House Labs. I think, did I already speak about this? I know I used it in a Get Ready With Me video, but I'm not sure if I already, like, showed it up close in a, in a haul video. So, this is the House Labs Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. I got Deep Level 9. Oh my god. So I, I tried this on a whim because House Labs is now at Sephora. So it's like, all right, I'm going to try them out. They did a revamping of their brand. So I mentioned in a shopping blog video when I talked about this brand that they were under the Kendo umbrella, or at least that's what I thought. And a representative from the brand actually reached out to me and like, no, we are actually not under Kendo. We're independent. You know, we're a solo brand. We're not under any like parent company. They're just a standalone company. So I wanted to correct myself with that. Okay. They're not under Kendo. So they ended up rebranding. They redid their entire product product line and they release not a full lineup of products but like a limited lineup in Sephora and I wanted to try them out so I grabbed the bronzer and oh my god I've been so in love with this powder bronzer it's so good like I said I have deep level 9 there are a couple of shades deeper than this so if you have a deeper skin tone than me then there are a couple shades darker this is so good. It's so pretty. It has this beautiful warm undertone, right? But it's not orange. It's just like a caramel tan and it blends so beautifully and it doesn't look like powder on the skin. It's not dry or anything. It just looks like skin and I love this so much. I fell in love with it. The packaging is really cute. It's like a metallic bronze packaging, right? To match bronzer and then the front is rubberized with the House Labs logo. It's so cute. Like they definitely upgraded the style. When they were being sold on Amazon, I was like, ew, it looks so cheap. It looks like throwaway makeup. I don't want it, right? I never bought anything. But this new rebranding, like they did this correctly. This, kudos, okay? This was done well. The rebranding, the products, fabulous. I never thought I'd be like, oh, give me House Labs. But yeah, like give me House Labs. The bronzer, phenomenal. Speaking of House Labs, I also got some of their highlighters. I'll just run through like the House Labs products. Yeah, let's just do that. So like I said, a representative reached out to me, right? I had picked up one of the highlighters myself. So the one that I picked up, Oh my god, this one is Fire Opal. Stop it, you're gonna see it up close, right? This is so stunning. It's such a beautiful highlighter. The Fire Opal name really matches it because it really is like this fiery looking bronzy pink with a golden orange reflect. It's so stunning, right? And it blends out so nicely on the skin. It does have a shimmery effect to it, so it's not like that one with the skin highlighter but there is still like this golden sparkle to it but it's so pretty and it blends really well on the skin so nice right so that's the one i picked up and it's in more of an opal white packaging so it's reflective this one doesn't have the rubberized um finish but it has like you see like it i don't know if you can see it but it's like this reflective opal white packaging really pretty now the representative was like, hey, we wanted to send you a couple of products to try out too. We heard you talk about our brand and I spoke about the liners that I didn't want the liners and I didn't want the cream eyeshadows and they're like, no, wait, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Try out some of the products, let us know what you think, right? So they sent another highlighter. This one is Golden Pyrite. This one 
is more of a champagne tan, I would say. It's not really a champagne champagne because it's not really light. It's more like a tan and this one doesn't have the shimmery particles, like the glittery particles at all. Not that the glitter in the Fire Opal is intense, like it's micro fine glitter, but it's still like sparkly, right? This one, it's so beautiful, it's one with the skin. This one is my favorite. Even though Fire Opal is so beautiful, this one is just so good on my skin because it melts into the skin. It doesn't look stark, it doesn't look harsh. Like I said, it's not like a champagne that stands out. It's more like a tan with a sheen. It's so good. It's so good. I really love these. So the bronzer and the highlighters from um, House Labs definitely stand out to me. And since we're sticking with them, let me tell you about the cream eyeshadows. Uh, I got six of the shades. So they have matte versions and then shimmery versions. A couple of these I bought myself and a couple they sent me, all right? So these are called the High Power Eye, Cheek, and Lip Pigment Paint, right? So they're meant to be a multi-purpose product. You can apply it on the cheeks, you know, as a blush color on the lips or on the eyes. But that can be deceptive because a couple of the shades aren't suitable for use on the eyes. So it's like, I don't like that. Especially because the blue, which is the fun color that I reach for, like I'm like, this is gonna look stunning on the eyes. It actually says do not use on the eyes, so it's like, I don't like that deceptive marketing. I feel like if you're gonna have a product that's called a high power pigment and then in the name of it on Sephora it says eye, cheek, and lip, I would automatically think that I can apply it to all three areas without issue, right? But the blue one, which that's what I wanna put on my eyes, is not for the eyes. So I'm not gonna put it on my face unless I'm like face painting. Otherwise I'll probably put it on my lips, but I want it on my eyes, right? And I will risk it and put it on my eyes but it's not meant for your eyes. So some of that stuff like throws me off. The green one, this one I got is mint matte. So let me tell you my experience with these. I got the blush mattes, I got magenta shimmer. So in the name it'll tell you if it's matte or shimmer. This is a purple pink. This is beautiful. This can be used eyes, lips, cheeks, right? And then this orange one, which I was so excited. I was like, oh, I can use this on the eyes. This one is not meant for use on the eyes. So this is flame matte. Now, to be fair, this one I can definitely use on the lips, right? It's a bright orange or on the cheeks. So for this one, it's not such a big deal because this color itself leans more into cheeks and lips anyway, but I'd love to use it on the eyes. The blue one is like, where am I gonna put that, right? And then blush matte, which is Gaga's go-to apparently, you can again use this cheeks, eyes, lips. And then the gold one that they sent me is gold shimmer. Again, multi-purpose. I. The jury's out on these, all right? Because they're not very pigmented to use on the eyes. And this is something that I mentioned in the um, the shopping block video, that when you have a multi-purpose product that you're gonna use on eyes, cheeks, and lips, it's hard to find the balance because on the eyes you want a pigmented product, at least most people do, especially if you're gonna use like a, a, a green, you know? You want it to be pigmented because you want it to show. But if you're gonna use it on the cheeks, you want it to be a little less pigmented so you can really blend it out. Maybe you want it to be buildable so you can get the color payoff that you want, but at the same time, it won't be overwhelming or difficult to work with. And then for the lips, you can go either way. You can go sheer or you can go bolder. So it's hard to find the balance that's gonna make it work for all three parts of the face, right? And so I was already apprehensive. And then when I got them, the shades are like a wash of color all around, you know? You can build them up to create a liner if you wanted to, but then you're gonna have to be layering and layering to get pigmentation. It works on the cheeks because it's lighter and it works on the lips too, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's tricky. It's more of a layering product. It's more sheer. If I use it on the eyes, I would probably use it as a base. I definitely wouldn't use them on the waterline because they're a little bit more liquidy so they can get in my eyes. But I, I'm not, you know, I'm not too impressed by these, but I can use them as eyeshadow bases. So it's like here or there, but not my, not my favorite like go-to product. They also sent me a couple of their lip oils to try out. So these are the PhD Hybrid Lip Oil and they have different tints to them. These are cute enough. Let me see if they have a scent. These are cute enough, right? No, they're not scented from what I can tell. So we have tint, secondary, and hue. So purple, a pink, and an orange. And these are cute enough. You know, they're a lip oil. There's not much to them. 
they're not long lasting products they're just meant to add like the shiny effect to the lips and these are cute enough so i'll mess with them they also sent me a couple of the le monster lip crayon 2.0 so i got a shimmery fuchsia and then a um rng red this one is current matte and the pink one is fuchsia shimmer these are okay they're just okay the pink one no ma'am it's like a sheer pink with a ton of glitter to it i hate this this is bad i don't like it at all but then the matte one is actually pretty decent and i like the packaging it's like a twist up it looks like a stylo pen it's cute is it something that i'd say run out and get you have to no not really and then they also sent me the liner pencils now i mentioned that i didn't really need a liner i don't care about liners but i mean it makes sense for their line to have a liner they're different colors i'll pop up the swatches so you can see them and they have shimmer shades as well as matte shades and it's a decent little formula you know nothing to write home about it's nothing like outstanding but they have some fun shades so it's worth checking out if you're interested but like I'm not over the moon about them they do have this teal though that's really stunning teal matte really stunning so if you were looking for some fun colors they do have some in the line so you know you can definitely check them out and if you were looking for like a blue liner like cobalt matte versus sapphire matte in the cream pigment paints you know you have a couple of colors that balance them out so if you wanted more eye safe um, options they're here so the pencils they're okay again the lip crayon okay the lip oil is okay but the standout products to me are the bronzer and the highlighter for sure so i'll play some more with these but again i think you can probably skip the eye paints these aren't as impressive as i would like and again with the, the multifunctional kind of product it doesn't really work out for me but those face products yes yes okay and they are releasing a foundation i know I think there might be a powder and I think there might be a concealer. I want to try those out when they launch because those look very exciting, all right? I'm actually excited about the brand because I tried a couple of products and they actually are pretty good. All right, let's move on quickly. Let me talk about this. This is the Fenty Beauty Toasted Swirl Bronze Shimmer Powder. This was limited edition for the summer and it is currently, oh my God, on sale at Sephora um i don't recommend it okay it's broken mine is broken it came broken i was able to like press it into the pan because it's more of like a cream powder um formulation so you can press it down but you see it broke again so i think it's drying out so this was really a waste for me the color is stunning and that's what you know what i don't like that the color is so pretty like i wanted it to work and i'm gonna try to press it again but it just breaks too easily it separates from the pan and it's because of the formula so i don't know what to do i'm just gonna lay it flat and use it when i want to but the color is so pretty let me just lay it over here so i can i don't know let me put it here but like it it's broken so it's defective but the color is so pretty you know that's why they have it for sale on sephora because mm -mm, it broke your and no it <laughs> it's a mess but if you wanted it it's on sale i wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it's broken all right what else did i pick up okay palette i use this palette and did i did i use it i don't remember if i used it I don't remember if I used it. Oh my god, but I know I talked about it in my shopping block video. So this is from Danessa Myricks, or Dare Sis. This is the Lightwork Volume 3, the Experience Palette, right? So it has illuminating eye and face pigments. So there's six shades in here. <laughs> One of them is a cream, which is Polaris. This is a cream, and it's so beautiful. It's a multi-chrome cream. Do you see that? It looks like a gold in most lights but it reflects like a purple and a teal stunning and then the rest of these are pressed pigments i think i did use this in a video i think i use gaia 
If you have the Lightworks palette, the original one, this is just an abbreviated version of that. Very pricey, but I wanted to try it out and I like this, but I'm not like in love with it. I like it a lot, but I prefer my Cleona eyeshadows. But this is a good multi-chrome option from a high-end brand that's not Indian. Honestly, if you're gonna buy these individually, like look at that. <gasps> but if you're gonna buy like multi-chrome eyeshadows individually, they are a little pricier anyway. So it's not like the palette price is outlandish based on it being multi-chrome, right? But I hope the swatches are showing you how beautiful this palette is. I definitely like this. And I'm thinking about getting the other palette that she's launching. It's gonna be like this multi-formula palette with cream and like a gel thing and powders. I don't know, I gotta think about it. What do you guys think? Are you picking that up? Let me know, but I'm considering it just a little bit. Let me talk about another black owned brand since we're here, Juvia's Place. So they recently launched some additional shades in their blush duo lineup. So I picked up volume five and volume six from Ulta. These are so pretty. Oh my God, and they're not overly expensive. I think these are $16 and you were able to use your coupon. So I got these at a pretty good steal and Juvia's Place always has a sale, all right? And I have a discount code with them. I will leave it linked below. And I also have a discount code for Cleona Cosmetics as well now. So I'll leave that also down below if you wanted to save a little bit, if you were interested in the multi-chromes. But this is which one? Volume five is the pink one. These are so good. Their blush formula is stunning. Very pigmented, very smooth. They give like a blurring effect to the cheeks and you can mix the colors. Now this is definitely for richer skin tones. If you're lighter skin tones, they have lighter shades, but they have shades now for richer skin tones that are definitely gonna add a punch of color. You can still use them if you have a lighter complexion. Just be a little bit more light-handed and blend them out nicely. This one will work for lighter skin tones. So this is volume six because it has this lighter shade, but this lighter shade still shows up on my complexion. Like I can mix the two and get a beautiful like peachy orange. This is so stunning. Love these blushes. These are such good blushes. I definitely recommend these uh, if you can get them on a sale or a discount even better but these are so 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 good all right moving on should i talk about mm, let's talk about some lips i had also spoken about the kind words matte lipsticks from rare beauty in that shopping blog video i was like i didn't know if i was gonna pick them up but I did go ahead and I grabbed two shades. So I got Strong and Wise and they come in this little package in here with like the button. So you press the button to pop it up. It's cute, it's cute, has the flat edge. The aesthetic is cute, you pull it out. Let me tell you about these colors, okay? Low key, I was like, why are they all pink, okay? But then I picked up the deep chocolate shade, which is the strong shade. This is so good. The formula is bomb. I hope she releases additional shades in this because the formula is fantastic. And I picked up Wise, which is more of a nudie shade on me. And it's like a cool tone nude. These shades, really nice on the lips. They're comfortable. They leave this beautiful matte look without being drying or tight so good and they're not too expensive so i love these lipsticks i didn't think i would say that but the colors that i picked up are really good i don't like the pinks or anything but i hope she expands the line and adds other colors because they're fantastic they're really really good and then i picked up two of the lip pencils as well so i picked up strong i think yes yeah, strong and wise yeah i picked up the two matching lip pencils these are also really good so it's like all right selena let me find out you know the lip pencils stunning they're creamy they're long lasting they work really well and pair really well with their lip products but they also pair with other lip products so it's like bomb excellent thank you so much you did such a good job let's talk more about lips because i picked up quite a few lip products surprisingly so this lip color that i'm wearing right now is from give by gwen stefani so she released a couple of extra colors in her original me high performance matte lipstick line this one is 80s me it's like a bright what do you call this like a fuchsia or a magenta mm, it's like a fuchsia pink so pretty this is such a comfortable formula this is such a long wearing formula this applies so well it glides on it's not fully opaque so it's not blanking out my lips at all but it just looks so good 
and it lasts so well. It even leaves like a slight stain behind, so just be mindful of that. But this is really good. I'm so happy with this formulation. The red one that I picked up, her original launch, so good. And I think I'm gonna pick up the new. The new that she has is a little bit too light, so I hope she expands and adds more colors, not just the ones that she wears, but ones that will suit deeper skin tones, because I want a nude from this line. It's really good. I really do like it. I also picked up some Makeup by Mario lip balm. So what Makeup by Mario was doing was launching a new shade of these lip balms every Monday for the summer. The last one has launched, so if you're interested, you can go pick them up over on their website. I don't know if they're at Sephora yet. I think they will be, but these are the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums. And when they launched, they sold out because everybody was so crazy about them. I had picked up one shade, which I think was, which one did I get? Apricot Glow, that's the original one that I picked up. But new shades were added and I was like, let me try them out. The other shades were just a little bit too light and like milky, but he added like deeper, richer shades and different undertones. So I picked up Blush Glow, Honey Glow, and Cinnamon Glow. And like I said, every Monday, so it's like, I hated having to order because you had to pay for shipping. But then if you ordered two, so I just waited two weeks. If the two shades were the ones that I wanted, I just ordered that. Whatever, the point is I got now four shades. These are so good. They do have a tingle to them, so they do plump a little bit, but the plumping also owes to the shine that it gives because they're really shiny and they can get messy because they're very melty, but they look so good and they feel so good and it's not like a burning feel so I am in love but here's the thing about the shades they're so lightly tinted that certain shades look like each other on the lips so you don't have to get like multiple because they're gonna look kind of the same kind of like a clear gloss but they're like a nude tinted gloss so depending on the undertone yeah it will show a slight difference but not like major difference the ones that show like a major difference would be like the cinnamon glow which is a richer deeper shade and like the apricot glow which is definitely lighter but like blush glow and honey glow kind of look similar on my lips so don't go out of your way to get multiple shades like pick a shade stick to it unless you get like a deeper shade or a lighter shade and then that will show like a major difference between them but other than that like the medium shades kind of look all alike so I'm happy I got all four I don't need another one because I have like a peachy one a pinky one and more brown one and then a deeper one so I feel like I'm covered like I don't need another shade he released like a mauve one there was like a minky pink one that was just gonna be too light on me so just pick one that would suit you or two that would suit you and just stick with them because that's sufficient like that will hit all the levels that you need to hit okay I also picked up some of the lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge the new ones that she launched so she has insanely saturated lip colors that's what she's calling one of the formulations and then the other one is the luxuriously lucent lip color so i picked up three shades from each of those lines and it's not really clear like she doesn't really separate them much on her website she has the luxuriously lucent on one side and the true velvet on one side but then I'm like, where are the insanely colorful ones? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where they're supposed to fall. But let me just summarize it, all right? The insanely saturated lip colors are matte and they're insanely pigmented. They're really rich colors. The luxuriously lucent ones are more of a sheer color, all right? That's the difference between them. So for the insanely saturated ones, I picked the Rainbow Spill which is this bright, like, pff, oh my God, it's like a candy yum yum pink. And then I picked up ooh, Strawberry Shock, which is this intense, like more orangey, almost like a watermelon color. So good. And then New Wave, which is this more magenta, purpley fuchsia shade. Stunning, right? Here's the thing about these, they break. They break so easily. And I had posted on Instagram about it breaking and I tagged the brand because I'm like, what the frick? And the representative let me know, like they're pigmented, it's a different formulation, so they're very fragile and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear that, okay? I've been hearing that since the onset, okay? From the start of this brand, the matte lip colors broke easily. Like my first ones that I got broke right away. I used it once and it broke. And you have to be very gentle with how you apply them. Like you have to be baby in it. And I don't like that, right? I'm still gonna use them because the colors are amazing 
but Gucci has matte lipsticks like this formula and they're intensely pigmented but they don't break like that easily they can break if you are really rough with them but they don't break that easily these break so easily it's just ridiculous they did send me a replacement for new wave that broke but then my rainbow spill broke too so it's like whatever okay and they break for no reason too because I haven't even used it again and it broke already so it's like what the hell is that and then for the luxuriously lucent ones these let me tell you they're kind of like the makeup by mario ones they're very sheer they have a tint of color to them the pictures that she shows on her website they don't really match up to what i was expecting on my own lips because these just look like a tinted lip balm and they're very expensive so if you want to try it out, it's a comfortable formula, it's okay, but it's like a sheer lip color for 30 something dollars. Like, you can do without it. How much are they anyway? Yeah, they're 26 pounds, which translates to like 30 something dollars. They're not that great. They don't give a lot of color, so there's not a lot to them that I would highly recommend rushing out and getting, okay? All right, let's move on. Did we cover all? No, I have one more lip product. Let me move that out the way. The Intense Couture Color Transfer Proof Lipstick. Try to say that five times fast. I just said it six times. Bare Lip Comfort. Okay, so I picked up a few shades of this. I'll show you the swatches. This is a new formula from Dior. These are very expensive, all right? These are more expensive than the Lisa Eldridge. But I wanted to try them out because the what they say about them, like they're gonna be a comfort mat, they're a bare lip feel, they're transfer proof. Like who doesn't want that, right? Without it being like a liquid lipstick. So I picked up a few shades. I picked up a few nudes. So I have 200, 300, which are the nudie ones. 200 is more like a caramelly nude. 300 is more like a mauve nude. 760 is more like a rich magenta red. Like it has this um, purpley undertone to it. 840 is an orangey tone. Like it's not really an orangey red, but it kind of slants red, but it's more like a deep brick orange to me. Love that one. Then we have 999, which is the Dior Red, which is this beautiful red. 879, which is more like a rich, dark, berry red. That's cute too. All the shades are nice, but I really fell in love with 200, the Caramel Nude, and then the orangey tone, that deep brick orange. So stunning. I really like these. They're comfortable. They do kind of last really long on the lips. I know it says transfer proof, but it's not 100% transfer proof. They're very comfortable and they set down. So you do have to give them like a couple of minutes when you apply them. They feel a little creamy, but they're not overly like creamy and slippy. They just glide onto the lips creamy and then they set down within like two or three minutes and then they're pretty budge proof, but they're not transfer proof like completely, right? A little will come off if you eat or if you touch your lips like directly, like if you're, you know, but they really stay in place really well and they're very comfortable. So I am actually really loving that. All right, moving on, we have another powder. Oh, let me talk about this powder, the Laura Mercier powder. This is the translucent, loose setting powder, ultra blur. I got the shade translucent honey. This is really good. So even though I had um, disappointed powders up front that we spoke about, this powder is actually really nice. The translucent honey, it blurs the skin. It's not too heavy. And you know what? I should have expected that because Laura Mercier does really good powders. You know her original loose setting powder that everybody grays about? This one is kind of like that, but it's not as matte looking. It's not as dry and it blurs the skin, but it leaves its natural look behind. Because I don't like a dewy skin. I don't like a glowy skin, but I don't necessarily want to be dry looking matte. So this works really well. I really like this and the color works well all over my skin or under my eyes because even though it's a honey shade it's not heavily pigmented so it's not leaving a cast behind really love that it is really a stunning all right let's move on i you know what i just picked up this summer friday sheer skin tint it's light coverage spf i need to wear my spf so i wanted to try this out i haven't even opened it yet so this is what it looks like it's in a white packaging it's liquidy it's watery and it says shake well before using so let's see what this looks like i picked up shade six which i'm hoping matches me well it's a sheer tint so it shouldn't be too crazy but all the undertones say warm and i'm like i am not really warm 
but it's supposed to be sheer so oh it blended out like it's really thin it's really watery it blends out really nicely no cast behind and it has how much SPF is this I thought there was SPF why doesn't it say SPF am I kidding myself does this not have SPF hold up hold up so it doesn't have SPF I low-key thought it has SPF so now I've been had oh my god Whew. so it's a sheer skin tint with hyaluronic acid and squalene so it has skincare but not actual sunscreen I don't know if I care then <laughs> do I care about having a skin tint it's cute you know and there's some other skin tints that recently launched so you know maybe and it won't rival my Fenty let's be frank okay my Fenty slaps but she not bad like it's cute and the number six shade works I'll have to test this out some more I low-key I really thought it had SPF. I'm low key mad right now, but okay, sheer skin tint. Um, I don't know why I fooled myself into expecting SPF, but no SPF in this. All right, let's keep going because I have quite a few things, but not everything I want to talk about because I want to do like separate products. Let's talk about the Rose Ink blushes. So I picked up a couple of the blushes and the highlighters. Really, I picked up one blush and two highlighters because I swatched these in store. These are cream highlighters and they're really nice, okay? What the hell just happened? <gasps> what is this? Uh-uh. Child, it done got unglued and now what is going... <gasps> the mirror came out? What kind of low budget and I'm not cheap now? Anyway, I picked up this shade. It's lustrous and it's like a drier cream. So perfect for my, why is this not working? <gasps> then the little piece of magnet drop off. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Why? Look down. The whole thing mash up. My goodness. That sucks. What? I. All right. Moving on. I picked up the Lustra shade, which is again like this shimmery tan. It was so pretty that I wanted to try out another shade from them. I got Glancing, which is more of like a light champagne. But this one also blends out really well on the skin. It's a little bit more intense. What I'm afraid of is that they are a dry cream, like I said, and they feel pretty dry. So I'm worried they're gonna dry out easily. I also went ahead and just grabbed another one of the blush shades. I picked up one of the blush shades before and I wasn't in love, but I was like, maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. So I picked up Anemone, but the blush formula is a little creamier and stickier than the highlight formula. So I don't love it. I don't love it, but I love the highlighter and I love the bronzer, which I also picked up. So I picked up the cream bronzers and I have another video coming up. So I'm not going to get too deep into this. But I picked up two of the shades. I picked up Capri and I don't know where the other shade is. But these are nice. I like them. But again, I have an upcoming video, so I'm not going to get too deep into it. All right, so that's it for this bag. Let me see what else I have over here. Foundations I picked up. So I picked up the Chanel foundations. I picked this up from Ulta. I already used it in a Get Ready With Me video. So I picked up Ultra Latint shade B80 and I picked up the powder as well which is in shade B70 this is the ultra rare all day comfort flawless finish compact foundation I love these these are so good I'm actually wearing a little bit of the foundation right now the liquid one I just put a little bit on so stunning it blends out so well it matches my skin tone really well it doesn't look like foundation I can share it out I don't have to build it up and it gives me such good coverage it's so good. The only drawback is it smells like Chanel foundation, but you know, they just have a scent to them, but I love it so much. Another thing I've been loving, let's talk concealer. So I picked up the Sephora Best Skin Ever concealer. So fantastic. One of my favorite things that I picked up so far, this is so good. I have shade 35 and I have the foundation as well in 35 N. It matches so well. It works so well. It's so pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. I also picked up 
the Hourglass Foundation. This is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I picked up shade 13. This is pretty, it's okay, but I prefer the Chanel. The Chanel just looks so good on the skin, but this also looks good on the skin. I feel like I have to work with this a little bit more though for it to blend and really look seamless on the skin. So I'm not over the moon with the Hourglass, but I'm over the moon with the Chanel. Like the Chanel one really like hit it out the park for me. It's so good. Sticking with complexion products. This Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. I don't like this. I picked up shade uh, Honey Gram. This is sticky. It feels thick and sticky and just gummy like e. And the applicator doesn't really pick up a lot of product. It's like this arrow shaped applicator it's a good enough formula like it looks pretty it's definitely illuminating i think if you have dry skin or you have dry under eyes and you want something to be a little bit more hydrating you might like this but i don't because i have oily skin i always set under my eyes and i just don't want a sticky situation but i mean you know it looks good it really does look hydrating under there like it looks like you know really beautiful you know youthful skin so i can see other people liking it i just don't like it you know it's just not for me i also picked up some more lip products so i picked up a couple of liquid lipsticks so these are from makeup forever they're the rouge artist forever matte i picked up two red shades and a tan i don't i swatched the red shades i don't know if i swatched the tan but these are really nice as well they're liquid lipsticks they're very lightweight i don't know where the other red shade is but I picked them up and the brown shade that I picked up or the tan is 192 toffee at all hours this is a beautiful nude shade and the formula stunning it does look really nice on the lips it sets down it doesn't feel tight or dry it's very lightweight it does dry down more than like the the Dior lipsticks but it's very comfortable so really like this formula and I like the shades that I picked up do we have anything else in this container? Like I have my little thing to talk about. Oh my God, oh my God, let me show you something. Let me show you something before I wrap it up because I think that's mostly, it. I thought I had so much more. I did have some, hold on, hold on. I know what it is. I had some um, PR products that I wanted to show you guys as well. But first, before we get into that, let me finish up with what I have. <gasps> Can you stop? So I picked this up at Home Goods. Do you see what is happening here? Do you see? It matches my painting. So the painting I did get at Home Goods as well, but they have makeup bags to go with it. Oh my god, and I'm going on a business trip this week. So I'm so glad I got them. So I got this little one. All right? I think this is what I'm going to pack, but she's cute right just a black interior and my little painting design they have other designs as well but i wanted the ones that match my painting because it just makes sense like it's so cute and then the makeup case that's bigger it doesn't have like any separators no like compartments nothing but it's super cute right oh my god and they weren't too expensive i think this was like 9.99 right oh my god so cute all right what else did i get so i got a couple of things from used to the people they sent me a couple of their skincare products but specifically they sent me the kaolin green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser i love this i have one already open like my own that i purchased so i'm already using mine but i love this cleanser this is a really good cleanser they sent this my way they also sent me a serum, so it's the Triple Peptide Cactus Oasis Serum to plump, firm, and hydrate. So I'm going to use that. I don't really have results yet, so I can't really speak to it. They also sent me the Retinol and Niacinamide Youth Serum. So I love a good serum, so I'm going to be using those and seeing what happens. And they also sent me some masks, so this is the Yerba Mate resurfacing energy facial these are just minis they sent the super berry hydrate and glow dream mask and the super clay purify and clear power mask really nice like i'm really excited and i also have tried out their super food air whip moisture cream so this one is a little bit creamier and richer than i thought it would be because it says it's air whipped but it's really comfortable 
smells really good and just feels good on the skin so I really like that so so far I know I love the cleanser and I know I like the moisturizer but I haven't really tried out the serums and the um, the mask so I don't have much to report there but they did send that to me so I did want to thank them I also got this from Kiehl's isn't it cute so this is their retinol fast release wrinkle reducing night serum and this has like a whole situation on how to set it up so you have to add the actual active ingredient to the serum so you have the serum and then you have this little pack that you are supposed to unscrew and then put on the other thing and it's like a whole situation but I'm really excited to try this out because it sounds good so it's activated with pure retinol infused powder it says freshly mixed serum with our highest concentration of retinol accelerates skin surface turnover rapidly reduces the appearance of wrinkles and visibly firm skin for a more youthful look now I know retinol should be prescribed for it to really give you the level that you need but maybe this is this has pure retinol I've never used retinol and I want to so I'm excited for that so thank you to Kiehl's for sending this my way I'm really really excited and then LMS sent me a couple of their products but the ones that I want to talk about are the pro collagen cleansing balm I love a cleansing balm I love cleansing oils I use them to remove my makeup first I learned that too late in my skincare journey but you need to use a makeup remover before you actually wash your face, right? I was just double cleansing with my face wash. It got off everything, but not really, right? So to really get your makeup off, sunscreen, all that stuff, use a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, okay? It's key. So LMS has this Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is nice, okay? It's... It's like an experience because it's creamy. It's not as melty as my, um, what is that brand that I love? My pharmacy cleansing um, balm. That is more like liquidy. It's like a solid, well, not really like a solid balm, but it's like, I don't know how to describe the texture of it. It melts in your hands anyway. It's like a solid that then melts. It's like a balm, right? This one is more of like a moisturizer, like a thick gel cream and you just rub it all over your face. You get a bit, you see my fingers all in here. You rub it all over, work it into your skin to break down the makeup and then you wash it off. The only thing is don't open your eyes with this one, all right? Or don't rub it around your eyes until the last minute because it can get a little bit burny. It doesn't really burn, but it can irritate your eyes a little bit. So I really like this. So thank you to LMS for sending me this. I also have their dynamic resurfacing facial pads these are for exfoliation they have a tri enzyme technology so it says here it has lactic acid and a probiotic ferment complex and their skin kind daily exfoliating pads that you can use to reveal baby smooth skin so i have already used these i have something else that i'm using right now so i didn't open these but these are really good because i've tried them before you just rub them all over your face once you're done with cleansing, right? And this is gonna be your chemical exfoliating step. Use it two or three times a week, maybe even one, because I don't really use an exfoliating step every single night. I use it when I feel like it, so that may be once or twice a week, to be honest. And these are really easy to just rub all over the skin, and it also does like a gentle physical exfoliation as well as that chemical exfoliation. So I really like these. So. Thank you to LMS for sending these my way. I really, truly appreciate it. And now I will wrap up with the things that I got from Ciate London. So they reached out to me and they sent me these things. These are from their Everyday Vacay line, right? So there's a lip oil included. This is a coconut lip oil. This is really cute. It's in a tube packaging, you know, one of those juicy tubes. Apply it. This is a really good way to use a lip oil actually because it applies like a lip balm would or like a lip gloss in one of those squeezy tubes. This is really cute. I do like it. It's clear, it's comfortable, nothing too exciting or like mind blowing about it, but it's really nice and it has, does it have a scent? It's coconut, but yeah, it has a slight coconutty smell, which I like. It smells like vacation. They also have this loose powder. I don't really care about this one because it is a translucent powder that kind of leaves a cast behind on me but this is a coconut loose setting powder it's translucent but like I said it it's white so it leaves like a tiny bit of a cast behind 
I'll use it though because I love a setting powder and it's very finely milled and it blends out really nice I just have to be careful with it so this is a cute one does this have a smell a slight coconutty smell too it's not an overwhelming smell you have to get like right up to it to get the scent from it I think it's because of the coconut ingredients does it have coconut actually in it though so it doesn't have like a coconut essence or like an extract or anything it's actually perfume so this is fragranced and it's a talc mica silica and dimethicone formula so do with that what you will it's it's nice but I know people don't like scented products but you know it's still nice I do like it it's just like I said I have to be a little bit more careful with it they also sent me some more of like their bronzing products so we have their dewy bronze glossy cheek tint so this one is in a two packaging it's cute but it is dewy okay and it is more of a bronzy nude color which is right up my alley but it is dewy so it looks kind of greasy on the skin so not my favorite product from that lineup mm -mm. and then they have a shimmering lip oil so this is kind of like the coconut lip oil but it is now a shimmery bronze one so this one is still clear it has just a slight tint and a little bit of shimmer but it's still like a lip oil and I like the format of this. It's thin, it's sleek, throw it in your bag and it's like a cozy little lip oil. But what I was really excited about, which I didn't think I would like, is this bronzing serum. So this is their Brazilian Glow Bronzing Serum. So it's a one of those push button packaging and it has a dropper, right? And it has this bronzing oil which I was like no way I'm gonna like that right now make sure you shake it up so I'm gonna shake it up here because the oil kind of separates so pump it a couple of times right so this oil it is a bronzing oil you can use it on your face or on your body you see how rich it looks but then it blends out and it looks a little orangey at first but as you blend it out it's more like a caramelly color and it dries down so it's like a dry oil feel it's like interesting so I'm definitely going to be using this guy I'm probably gonna use it on my decollete a little bit but I really like like the color it gives and it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel greasy it's like a dry oil so it dries down so I can use it on my face as well I'm gonna try this on my face but if you're looking for something like this it's different it's something unique I didn't know what to expect when I saw it I was like what is this but it does work out really well so there are all the products that I recently picked up and was sent it's a lot and I am going to now go ahead and pack these things away because really I've been holding on to them like they're on the floor in my different little organization baskets and I'm like I need to finally like add them to my collection like pack them up pack it up pack it up okay so that's what I'm gonna do but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I will leave as many of these linked down below as I possibly can it's a lot so I don't know if I'll link every single thing but I will link as many as I can and, and I already mentioned my standout products so I won't recap them here I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along and links to where you can pick these products up. If those links have an asterisk next to them, that indicates that they are affiliate links, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It's a great way to show your support for the channel because it doesn't change the sale price. It just gives me a kickback for putting you on. So if you wanted to go ahead and support the channel, again, that's a great way to do so. But if you're not comfortable with that, just shop the way you normally shop, no muscle so fuss. I'm still happy you're here watching. Go ahead and leave me a comment because that also helps out the channel. And I also have Super Chat now on my channel so you can give me a little kickback if you enjoy the content so I can put right back into my videos. And until my next one, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys. Doo-doo-doo!